So we are the group six. Decadet Hamay Romel, Decadet Marinelio Edgar Jr., Decadet Tabilon Rainer, Decadet Villanueva Richmar. So our assigned topic is all about the pole star problem. Latitude by pole star, prepared by group six. In <clears throat> intended learning outcomes. First, understand the principle of pole star. Second, discuss the errors used in getting the position line and true azimuth of the stars. Third, extract correct values from the nautical almanac, altitude correction tables, and pole star correction tables. And lastly, calculate the correct position line and true bearing of polaris. Procedures. First procedure, obtain the JMT and then find the LHA of a risk for the time of observation. Second procedure, correct the sextant altitude for index error, DIP stars total correction to obtain the true altitude. Third procedure, using the LHA of a risk from the pole star table, find the column appropriate to its value. The tree correction and the azimuth will be found in the same column, same column reading in a section down to the page. Next slide. So, fourth procedure. Find the correction of A sub 0, then A sub 1, and A sub 2. And add this to the true altitude and subtract 1 degree from the total to obtain the observed altitude. Then, fifth procedure. Fifth procedures. From the tabul tabulated azimuth, find the bearing of the star. The position line will the lay at the right angle to, to the bearing passing throughout a position in the observed observe latitude and the DR longitude. Example, scenario one. At 9th of February in DR position, 37 degrees 58 minutes north, 52 degrees 30 minutes east, at 1 hour 30 minutes 24 seconds GMT. An observation of Polaris gave sextant altitude 38 degrees 40.4 minutes, index error 2.2 minutes of the arc, height of I is 37.6 feet, Find the latitude, the direction of the position line, and the true azimuth. At 9th of February, in DR position, 37.58 degrees north, 52, 52 degrees 30 minutes east, at 1 hour 30 minutes 30, 24 seconds GMT. An observation of Polaris, Polaris gave sextant altitude 38, point, 38 degrees 40.4 minutes Index error 2.2 minutes of the arc. Height of I is 37.6 feet. Find the latitude, the direction of the position line, and the true azimuth. So the GMT is 9th February, 1 hour, 30 minutes, and 24 seconds. To get to get the GHA, first we will go to the table and find our given date, which is February 9. The first, tab the first table is February 9, the second February 10, and February 11. In this case, we'll, we will use the first table, which is February 9. Then, at the first column, we need to find our time, which is one hour, and intersect it with, intersect it with the Aries, since we are observing from the star. And we will get the JHA of 153, point, uh, 150 de 153 degrees 50.3 minutes. The second is we must get the increments. And we will go to the increments and correction tables. And we, we must find the 30 minutes table. And below the, on the first column, is our our seconds which is we need to find the 24 seconds and intersect it with the aris and we will get the increments of 7 degrees 37.2 minutes 
since we already got the GHA increments, we will now we can now solve for GHA of Aries. Take note, to get the GHA of, GHA of Aries, it is always add, and the result will be 161, point, 161 degrees 27.5 minutes. On the fourth step, we will now input our longitude, our given longitude, which is 52 degrees 30.0 minutes. And we can, we can now solve for LHA of Aris. Take note, if the longitude is east, add east. And if the longitude is west, we subtract. And the result will be LHA of Aris, 213 degrees 57.5 minutes. <clears throat> so the next procedure is to correct the sextant altitude for index error dip stars total correction to obtain the true altitude so we have here the given sextant altitude which is 38 degrees 40.4 minutes and our index error which is 2.2 degrees I uh, know 2.2 minutes of the arc so first a uh, first from the given which is sextant altitude and index error we can solve for our observed altitude take note that in solving the observed altitude we must consider whether the index error is off the arc or on the arc if it is in on the arc we must subtract and when it's off the arc, we must add. So in this case, our index error is off the arc, so we will add. 38 degrees, 40.4 minutes, 2.2 plus 2.2 minutes, and we will get our observed altitude, which is 38 degrees, 42.6 minutes. And also, and in continuation, we will sort for our apparent altitude. In solving this, we will need our height of I, given which is 37.6 feet. And we will solve it or we will convert it into minutes. And we will find it here in our altitude, altitude corrections. In this column, height of I, we will see here in feet unit unit is fit so our given is 37 point something and we will see here that it is in between the correction of 6.0 minutes so this will be our dip so you can see here 37.6 feet and the correction on the altitude corrections is 6 Point zero minutes in solving our apparent altitude it is always subtraction so we will subtract the dip from our observed altitude 38 degrees 42.6 minutes subtracted by 6.0 minutes so we will get our apparent altitude which is 38 degrees 36.6 minutes and next step is the last steps the last step to obtain the true altitude we will need our mc which we will get from our altitude correction so from our apparent altitude which we solve is 38 degrees 36.6 38 degrees 38.6 it is in here in the column apparent altitude you will see that column we'll find our apparent altitude value and we'll find its equivalent correction in here the you'll see the mark yellow its equivalent the equivalent correction of our apparent altitude is 1.2 minutes 1.2 minutes Yes, and now we can solve for our true altitude. Apparent altitude subtracted by our MC, which we got 
from the altitude corrections. Again, solving the true altitude, it is always subtraction. So, once you subtract it, we got our true altitude, 38 degrees, 35.4 minutes. This is our true altitude. Okay, pra third procedure, using the LHA of Aris from the full star tables, find the column appropriate to its value. The tree correction and the azimuth will be found in the same column, reading in section down the page. Four, find the correction A sub 0, A sub 1, A sub 2, and add this to the through and subtract 1 degree from the total to obtain the observed altitude. So, our, we are using the LHA of Aris, which is 213 degrees, 57.5 minutes. And our true altitude is 38 degrees, 35.4 minutes. So in order to get, get the A sub 0 and A sub 1, A sub 2, we are using our LHA of Aris, which is 213 degrees, 57.5. So LHA of Aris, 30, 213 degrees, 57.5, convert a round of it, it is 214. So in this table, we have 210 to 219. We are using 210. Since we are we have remaining 4 degree, so the, the A sub 0 value is 1 degree and 50.8 minutes. In A sub 1, we are using our, um, alt our latitude, which is 37 degree, 58 point, 58 minutes north. So since it's near from 40 degree, our value is 0 0.6 minutes. In A sub 2, our month is February. So the value is 0 0.5. Um, so HO to, HO to A sub 0, H, A, A sub 1, and A sub 2, the rule is always plus. In this case, the total is 40 degree, 27.3 minutes. There is a constant or additional correction, which is 1 degree to 0 minutes. In order to get the fixed altitude, the total and the constants, it is always minus. So in this case, our fixed, alti our fixed latitude is 39 degree, 27.3 minutes. So as a continuation as a so as a continuation of the procedure, so we have a procedure number five from the tabulated azimuth. Find the bearing of the star, the position line will delay at the right angle to the bearing passing throughout a position in the observed latitude and the DR longitude. So since we have a fixed latitude, 390 degrees, 27.3 minutes, then azimuth of true bearing polaris, 0, 0 0.1 minutes. So since 39 degrees is near from 40 minutes, I uh, 40 degree, so we're going to 40 degree, then, then 214, then find if, if asa sila nag kuan intersect, then mauna ang nigaw 0.1 degree or 0, 0 0.1 degree then pl is equal to gn plus minus 90 degrees so first we go to the subtract so 0, 0 0.1 degree is equivalent to 360.1 degree then minus 90 degree is equal to 270.1 minutes I degree then we'll go to addition 0, 0.1 degree 
plus 90 degree is equals to 90 degree ay 90.1 degree that's all thank you that would be the end of our report thank you Thank you.